hello friends welcome to dexplorian if you are new to my channel here i make and help you learn making design illustrations in photoshop discuss tips and tricks and various tools in photoshop that will make you a better graphic designer today we will be making an illustration which you have already seen in the thumbnail this is going to be a little long and so the video is divided into six segments with timestamps you can skip to any part of you want but I will recommend you to watch the full video as I will be guiding you through the whole process step by step. So without any further delay, let's get started. We're gonna start by selecting an image with our subject we intend to use in our illustration. I have taken this image which I have downloaded from pexels.com. I will leave a link of the image in the description box. You can use any image of your choice. Now let's open the image and start working on it. Firstly, we have to remove the background and for this there are a bunch of different tools in Photoshop. Which tool to be used depends on the nature of the image we select. In this case we will be working with the quick selection tool because here we have a clear distinction between our subject and background. Just click and hold on the left mouse button and drag along the outline of the subject. Here you can see some of the backgrounds are visible. In such constrained areas, we will be changing the brush size as per our need by pressing the second bracket keys on the keyboard. Left one for the smaller size and right one for the bigger size. If the selection is not very accurate, don't worry, we will be fixing it later on. Now that the selection is complete, click on the layer mask icon on the bottom right corner. Click on the brush tool, make sure the foreground color is black and simply paint on the unwanted area. This will make the area hide behind the mask. To reveal any part, just press X on the keyboard to make the foreground color white and paint on the area. Repeat the process and just be patient with this step and try to make the selection as precise as possible. see whether the mask is ok, press shift on the keyboard and click on the layer mask to turn on and off the mask. I think it's good to go for now. Let's make a copy of it by pressing Command or Control plus J on keyboard just in case we need a backup. Turn off the visibility of one and keep it locked. And we will work on the new one. Right click on the layer and click apply layer mask. Add a solid adjustment layer and bring it below the subject layer.
and then resize the subject layer holding the shift key to maintain the aspect ratio. Make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl Command J and turn off the visibility of the upper layer. Now we'll do something with one of our subject layer which is called Liquify. For doing that select one of the subject layer. I will select the second one then we go to the filter on the menu bar and click on the Liquify option from the drop down. You will see that the Liquify workspace open. Adjust your brush size with the help of bracket keys and start dragging from one end by clicking and holding the mouse. Go on dragging to the extent of your need. When you are done, click OK on the bottom right corner and you will return to the main workspace. Now the next step is totally optional. If you want to keep the image like that, you can skip this step. I want my image to be black and white. So what I'm going to do is add black and white adjustment layer and above that a level adjustment layer to control the amount of blacks and white. Play with the slider to adjust your image. I want these adjustment layers to affect only my subject not the background. To do so, place the cursor in between the subject and the adjustment layer. You will notice the cursor will change. Press Alt or Option on the keyboard and click. This will create a clipping mask onto the subject layer. Repeat the process for the second adjustment layer. Now we will turn on the visibility of the top subject layer and simply copy and paste the adjustment layer to it and again create a clipping mask. Next we gonna select the liquefied layer and click on the layer mask icon to create a mask. Then we take the brush tool foreground color black and paint on the layer to completely hide the layer behind the mask. Now we are going to select some specialized brushes to give it a desired effect. Custom brushes are available at many websites. I have downloaded a brush called Explosion Brushes which I have got from brusheasy.com link given in the description box this was a brush pack containing about 15 different brush styles i will go with this one Adjust the brush size and position. Change the foreground color to white by pressing X. We will be revealing selective parts of the layer. Keep the flow at 100%. Change the brush style and again repeat the process. Change the flow amount as per your requirement.
then we will be selecting the topmost layer and again create a mask. Now select the topmost layer, hold shift and click on the bottom subject layer to select all the layers in between and press ctrl or command plus E to merge all the layers into one. Right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. Hold the shift key and resize the newly formed subject layer as per our need. I'll be creating another layer mask to give it some finishing touches. Again, add a levels adjustment layer to fine tune the image a little bit. This is totally a personal preference. You can definitely skip it if you want. Lastly, we will be adding some geometric shapes and text. I will add a rectangle shape. So go to the rectangle tool and click. The cursor will change. Draw the rectangle at your desired position by clicking and dragging the left mouse button. Change the fill color as per your wish. Set strokes color to none. I will be changing the blending mode from the drop down to multiply. You can play with it as you want. Press Alt and Option on the keyboard and drag to duplicate the rectangle and change the size of it. Lastly, let's add some text. Click on the text tool and double click anywhere on the canvas. Select the text and write whatever you want and click OK. Select the text layer and drag it to the desired position. Now let's change the color and then I am going to rotate it 90 degrees. I will be adding some effects to the text. To do that, 
right click on the text layer and click blending options. Check the box next to the strokes, fill opacity to 0 and change the stroke size to 3 and click OK. I think the color of the rectangles are a little bit too dark. Let's change that a bit. I think now it's good. Now we will be saving and exporting it. Thanks for being with me throughout the whole process, I really appreciate your patience. If you really think my video is a little bit of help for you, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. See you in the next video, bye and take very good care of yourself.